Mars as we know it does not have plate tectonics. We do not see evidence uh, of plate tectonics now, and there really is not much evidence for, or any evidence for plate tectonics in the past. Okay, the mountains on Mars typically are formed by one or two of several other processes. Uh, for instance, large impact events produce um, rims to the craters, and those rims stick up above the, uh, the pre-impact surface. Uh, those rims can be viewed as mountains in many cases. So, um, for instance, right now there's a, uh, two rovers on the surface that NASA is running. Spirit is within the Gusev crater, and that's in the middle of the crater, and all along the margin of the crater you can see the rim, and that looks like mountain belts, as we would consider them here on Earth but they're not related in any way to plate tectonics. Uh, you also form mountains on Mars, for instance, Olympus Mons, which is behind me, based solely on volcanism. So um, you bring material up, you erupt it onto the surface, and that material continues to pile up and, and produces, in this case, an individual mountain by itself, which we call Olympus Mons. But it's strictly a volcano, and it doesn't really have anything to do with any kind of a plate tectonic motion. Earth is still volcanically active and we recycle the crustal plates in those uh, convergent plate boundaries. So places where volcanic material was already put onto the surface in some cases has been lost. Um, you would have to say that the Earth probably has more volume of volcanics simply because it's been active probably throughout its, its entire lifetime. Whereas Mars, although we think that some of the volcanics are fairly young, we don't see any clear evidence to say that it's still erupting and we have never seen an eruption on the surface.